event. I was 2010 Wheelchair Fencing World Cup. On guard, fencing is not on ice during the winter season. Last January, the Wheelchair Fencing World gathered at the World Cup in German Malcho. Some 100 athletes from 15 nations gathered here to collect world ranking points in foil, sabre and epee for the upcoming World Championships in Paris. For the first time at a World Cup, women could also compete in sabre. This is the second World Cup here. The previous one two years ago went down very well and got people's blood flowing. So I believe we will bid for a third round. And I really hope that the international organization will accept our application once again. Truth be told, I've really got to love this here. It's very, very nice for uh, wheelchair fencing because he's, uh, he has more nations than the last time. I have more fencers, and the most important for us is also is a very big high level, the technical level for the fencers. Some of the guys I've seen around here are fantastic. They're like best in the world, of course, because otherwise they won't be here. But it's like it's uh, definitely a challenge and something I look forward to doing. It's fantastic. We've had so much fun on and off piste. It's like when when we're on piste, it's healthy competition, and we're and we're there giving it our best and trying to uh, basically be, uh, win at all costs. But then when we go off, we're all like best friends, having great times and enjoying ourselves no end. I really enjoyed it all, the organization, the volunteers, it's like the red carpet treatment. I'm really impressed by everything. I'm a school volunteer. I help the athletes get into their chairs, get the drinks, and assist with affixing the chairs onto the frames. We were well prepared for this, even practicing in class. I'm impressed at how ambitious and passionate the fencers are. The goals, I believe, are to maintain and further develop the sport of wheelchair fencing, which I think is becoming more um, aware. There's more awareness with the public also. But at the same time, we're getting fantastic competition. And we wish every potential athlete good luck and compete as far and as much as you want. Fencing is a truly great sport. It's not just about strength. Technique, strategy and concentration are also a big part of it. So it's a lot of fun to put all this to work. I have to 
I learned about this from the paper and it sounded really exciting. The setup here is really incredible. We prepared a lot every day for these competitions and I'm very glad of my result. This is my best result, the sixth place in foil, so I'm very glad. We prepared to the World Championship that will be in November in Paris. I'm glad to be here. It's my second time in Malcha. A very nice city, and the people are very friendly. It's very well organized. It runs really smoothly. The scenery, the snow. We don't have that much snow in Paris. Fencing level in the world is very high. Every match is very uh, difficult to defeat the opponents because they are skilled and they are smart. So I'm very happy to fence with everyone. So the competition here is very good. So totally in this competition I got two gold medals. I believe that sport allows you to restore your social life, especially when you have a disability. You have to show what you can do, even if you are in a wheelchair. Fencing was my key to traveling the world. I made so many friends. In Brazil, Canada, Hong Kong. It would not have been possible without sport. It's important to stick to what you do, in school or in sports. The secret is to keep on practicing. C'est s'entraîner, s'entraîner, toujours s'entraîner. A successful sports déjà vu in Malcho that brought the world fencing elite to Germany. Overall, 65 medals were presented in individual and team events. The first of the five World Cups is over. The first hurdle for the 2010 World Championships in Paris has been jumped, where many of the athletes will surely meet again.